Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do scarves. Um, I love scarves. They're great. They're a great way to add a pop of color. And um, I started my gray journey last January and it took about eight months to grow my hair out because I cut it all off. It seems to be getting whiter, whiter, whiter. Um, so I like to use scarves to add a pop of color. Um, also, when you have a lot of white hair uh, or gray hair, any um, like if it becomes more white than gray per se, um, then you need to add some color to, especially when you're wearing clothes, you can kind of fade out and drab out. Um, glasses are a good way. These are just black frames. You can get red frames, purple frames, blue frames. Um, so experiment with that. And then, you know, if you go to a wedding or some event and you know you're going to be photographed, a good way to um, help yourself to not fade out if you have like all white hair is to add a colorful scarf around your neck so you have a lot of color right here. Um, and that kind of balances out. Otherwise, you have like extremely white hair and then, you know, depending on what you're wearing, even like wearing a black top like this, you can kind of fade out. So a pop, pop of uh, lipstick color and some scarf, a scarf or something. Now during the summertime, you can use a lighter fabric scarf that's really lightweight and kind of gauzy. And then during the winter time, you can switch to something that's like a more sweater material. So if you want, follow me on my channel. I did one on the 17 best colors for gray hair. And so I'm kind of incorporating that, but you may have a certain color that looks fabulous on you. So that's the color you want to pop. So for some people it's green, so for some it's more um, blues, for some it's more reds or pinks or coral colors look great with gray hair. Um, so here's a few options. So this is like a blue scarf that I have and if you notice it's got some green in there. It seems like that chartreuse green right there looks great with gray hair for some reason. I don't like to use it in over quantity like but I like little punches of it as a mixture so this is a great summertime scarf now I know we're in winter right now but I just want to give you some ideas see what that does for the whole like look it just adds and you know there you could do the regular wrap where you just put it around once like this or you could do the other look where you take it like this and you grab it here so there's a loop and you put the loop behind your head and then you stick the scarf through the loop like this and that allows you to do this little thing here where you've got more up here and less up here like this so so you can wear it many ways or you can just wear it like this just one one on each side like that and it gives you color all the way down like I'm wearing black today this is great on white but if you have gray hair, you see that. It's beautiful, right? See that blue? See how that picks up on there? I mean, it's awesome. It just gives you like a pop of color, brightens up your features. All right, the next scarf I have is this one. I've had it forever. It's got roses on it. It's got some good basic colors in there. It's got a little bit of green. It's got some pops of uh, periwinkle blue. And then on the reverse, it's black. So... You can see how that is. See that? Isn't that pretty? So play with scarves. Now, if you have long hair, long, gorgeous gray hair, just go ahead and put that baby up in a ponytail or a bun if, if you feel comfortable that way and wear your nice scarf like that. It's beautiful. It just adds a little pop of color and uh, that's what you need with your gray hair. Um, this one I got at Kohl's. I showed you this on another video, on a fashion video I did. It's got a hummingbird on it. It's really pretty. It's black. Uh, I think this would look good on just about anybody. Anyway, it's got a cute little hummingbird on it. It's black, and I like this. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of not too gauzy, not too thick. It's kind of an in-between scarf, but you can rotate it around to make the pattern work for you. But see how nice that looks? So try something like that. And again, when you're in the store, hold the colors up to your face in the mirror and see what you think. 
you know, hold one up and then swap it with another one and see which one looks better. This is a regular gray. It's got a little bit of sparklies in it. My sister gave this to me for Christmas one year and I like it. So gray is great too. Okay, do you see how that kind of sophisticated the look instantly with the glasses and everything? So a, a straight on color with no variation is very nice. Um, this is kind of a light heather gray, I would call this, and this looks great. Now, for some of you, you may seem like this washes you out. Fine, then go for a color. But uh, this is a great, this is a great neutral. So when you had golden hair, or golden brown hair, or auburn hair prior to going gray, your colors were more warmer. So you know, chestnut scarves and things like that with tans and burgundies and all of that was a greater color. But n now your new neutral is going to be, you know, black or gray or something like that when you have gray hair. And most people are. Um, Got that hung up on my earring. Most people are cool tone anyway. Most of the population is cool tone anyway. So any of those colors would look great. This is kind of a lighter, more flowy. See how see-through that is? It's uh, got, again, it's got a little bit of green in it. You see that? I don't know. There's something about the green. It kind of pops. But okay, so this is a little bit more flowier, a little bit more summertime. Something like that. Or this is a standard blue, uh, just blue. It's blue. Blue looks great with gray. See that? Just gives you that little pop of color there. Looks great. And um, I got this as a gift. This is a silver one. It's kind of very shimmery, silvery, and I'll let you be the judge. I wasn't quite sure, but yeah. So, you know, goes with the silver hair. So go for it, rock it out, but it's a great way just to add a, oops, a little pop of color. And then I have this one, I've seen it in another video. This has got the blue, the teal. So this is more of the blue tones, but blue looks great with gray. Teals, blues, any shade of blue, regular blue, denim blue, cobalt blue, all those colors, doesn't matter. All looks good with gray. Great, see that? Okay, and then, we have red, which I used to hate this color with my light brown hair. It was like, eh, no, but now I am friends with the red. Look at this. I, during the holidays, I went to a New Year's Eve get to get party or whatever, and uh, I wore red and I wore red lipstick and people were like, oh my God, wow, striking. With the gray hair, you will, it will be striking. So the red is beautiful. Red and black, red and purple, red and teal. Go for it. Wear it. You can do it. So totally red. This is more of a sweater material. It's a little bit thicker for winter time. So something like that is nice too. So it just gives you that color. So I hope that helps you to like brighten up your look a little with the gray hair. Um, because sometimes I feel a little bit washed out and I just want to pop a color. Even if you don't wear makeup and you don't wear lipstick, throw on a colorful scarf then. That's your go-to item and wear it one of the three ways. These are either down like this, like I said, once over the shoulder, or you grab it like this with a little hole in the center and you put it around the back of your neck and stick it through the hole like that. Either way, it will look great on you. You could even put a pretty pin here, a brooch or something. Um, very classy, very elegant. Again, it goes from summer to winter. The lighter scarves will be great for summer. The more heavier sweater scarves, greater for winter. And enjoy your color. So that's all for today. And thanks for watching.